Namaste yogis and welcome to my channel. If you just recovered from a cold or flu, join me in this after sickness yoga class to regain strength and flexibility in body and mind. We'll begin in a cross-legged position or easy pose. Easy pose is placing one foot in front of the other. Go ahead and spin the inner thighs down so that you're really grounding down through your sitting bones. Sit up tall, lengthen the spine, slightly dip the chin. Inhale, reach the arms up, join your hands together, draw your hands down in prayer position in front of your heart. And feel free to set your intention for your practice. Namaste. And let's come on all fours for cat cow pose to warm up the spine. If you have sensitive knees, go ahead, fold your mat in the middle or place something soft under the knees. Make sure that your knees are directly under the hips and the hands directly under the shoulders. Index fingers are pointing forward. Fan out your fingers and press down through your knuckles. Keep your core firm. As you inhale, drop the belly down, look forward. And as you exhale, round your spine, chin to your chest. Inhale, crown of the head and tail go up. Exhale, head and tail go down. Inhale. Open across your chest, look forward. Exhale, angry cat. Keep going, do a few more. Work with your breath. You can go faster or slower. And make it your last breathing cycle. One more inhale and one more exhale in cat cow pose. Then slowly coming back to neutral spine. Inhale, reach your right arm up and cross it under your left arm to the left side. Resting on your right cheek and right shoulder. You can keep your left hand on the floor where it is. That's option one. A more deep, intenser option is placing the left hand on your lower back. Choose what works for you and then settle into the pose, breathe, release tension. And take one more deep breath in and out through the nose. Then slowly coming out of thread the needle pose back to tabletop position, neutral spine. As you inhale, Reach the left arm up, switching sides. Bring it under the right arm, cross it over to the right side, and gently rest on your left cheek and left shoulder. Keep the right hand where it is. That's option one. And the second option is place the right hand on your lower back. And take a few deep breaths. Let go of any tension, relax your face, and everything else you don't need right now. Last inhale and exhale, and slowly coming out of the pose, bring yourself back up to tabletop position. Keep your hips directly above the knees, lengthen the spine, and begin to walk your hands forward towards the front of your mat. Lower your chest down. Keep your sitting bones, your buttocks sticking up high in the air and place your forehead onto your mat. This is extended puppy pose, a lovely way to stretch your spine, shoulders, and improve your flexibility. It also calms the mind and helps relieve any symptoms of stress and tension. Start pressing your hands into the floor, arch the spine, and shift your weight forward so that you're lying down on your belly Press the tops of the feet and your pubic bone firmly into the ground. Plant your hands under the shoulders and as you inhale, peel your chest up, gaze forward. This is Cobra Pose. Connect with your breath and it helps to spin your inner thighs in and up. Maybe hover your hands above the ground. A fun little fact for you here or a little confession. At the time of filming this, I actually just got over a cold and I'm really struggling here. It's challenging and I'm breathing a lot. So let's take a break. Rest on one cheek. 
and let's take Cobra Pose again. We're building up strength, one step at a time. As you inhale, peel your chest up, gaze forward, and you can use a different hand variation. You can place the fingertips on the floor in line with your shoulders. Keep spinning your inner thighs in and up. Hold your pose, keep breathing. And then slowly release, take a break, rest on the other cheek. Or you can rest on the backs of your hands, whatever you prefer. We'll take Cobra again, but with a twist. Place your hands directly under the shoulders. Inhale, lift your chest up. Place your left forearm parallel with the front of your mat. And the right hand is next to your left hand. As you inhale, lift your chest up a little bit more, straightening out the right arm. So here we have a back bend with a slight twist. Find your breath. And then slowly, on your next exhale, release down. And let's get ready for the left side. Place your hands directly under the shoulders. Inhale, lift your chest up. Bring your right forearm parallel with the front of the mat. Exhale, left hand is next to your right hand. Inhale, lift your chest up even more, looking over your left shoulder. Breathe into your back bend and slight twist. Slowly lower down as you exhale and take a break. Bring your arms along the body, rest on one cheek. Bring your feet up towards the sky, bending the knees and then windshield wipe your feet from side to side. Relax your lower back. And bring your feet back to center and lower them down. Press the tops of the feet firmly into the floor. Place your hands next to your ribcage Hug your elbows in close to your ribcage and as you inhale, press firmly through your hands, straighten your arms, lift your torso, hips and knees off the floor. Gaze forward. This is upward facing dog. Try not to hyperextend your arms, micro bend the elbows and look over the right shoulder and then look over your left shoulder. Come back to center. Bend the knees, place them on the floor, shift your weight back, curl the toes under, lift your knees up, bring the pelvis up towards the sky and come into a downward facing dog. Here you are like an upside down letter V, lengthen the spine, press firmly through your hands, lift the heels up as you inhale, bend the knees, exhale, press your tummy onto your upper legs. Slowly bringing the heels towards the ground and feel free to pedal out your feet. Stretch out your hamstrings. And lift both heels up and place them down towards the ground. We'll be doing three-legged downward facing dog. For better balance, place your left foot about one inch towards the midline. As you inhale, reach your right leg up. Exhale, hold. Keep your hips even. On your next inhale, open the hips, bend the right knee, keep your right foot flexed, and then draw circles, bringing your knee down towards the ground, to the side, and back up. Do that three more times, opening up the hip. And switch direction. Bring your knee to the side, down to the ground, and to the back. Keep going, three more. And the last one. Nicely done. Let's switch sides. Extend the right leg out, place it back on the floor, adjust your feet. Place your right foot about one inch towards the midline. Inhale, reach the left leg up, hold, exhale, keep your hips even. Inhale, bend the left knee, open your hip, and draw circles. Bring the left knee down towards the ground, to the side, and back up. Three more. Hold your balance. We're building strength. We're opening our hips and switch direction. Connect with your breath. The last two and one. Wonderful. Place your left foot down, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your right leg up, step it in between the hands, come into a low lunge. Keep your core nice and firm. Hug your thighs in towards each other and make sure that the right knee is right above the right ankle. Lower the left knee down, hold it here, stay connected with your breath and uncurl your left toes. 
Keep your left hand on the floor, we'll be going for a twist. As you inhale, reach your right arm up, open your chest towards the right side. Breathe. And slowly lower down, framing your front foot. Place your hands on the knees. And then from there, place your hands on the hips. And let's get ready for a side body bend. As you inhale, keep the right hand on your right hip. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale, hold. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, dive to the right side. Open up the left side body. Keep your chest open. Maybe place the fingertips on the floor for support. Or hold on to a block if you have a block handy. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, hands on the hips. Frame your front foot. And then step your right foot back, curl your toes under, lift the knees and hips up towards the sky, keep your core nice and firm, press your tummy towards your thighs, lengthen the spine for a downward facing dog. Take one deep breath and we'll be switching sides, inhale, left leg comes up and step it forward in between your hands. Bend the left knee and keep it right on top of the left ankle, lower the right knee down Uncurl your right toes and scissor your thighs in towards each other. Find your breath. Keep the right hand on the floor and as you inhale, reach your left arm up towards the sky. Open your chest towards the left side for a twist and keep breathing. And lower your left hand back down, framing your front foot. And place your hands on your left knee. Then placing the hands on the hips for a side body bend. Keep the left hand on the left hip. Inhale, reach your right arm up. And exhale, hold. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, side body bend to the left. Keep your chest open and try not to cave in your right shoulder. Place the left fingertips or hand on the floor or maybe on a block if that's available. Take one more deep breath. And as you inhale, come back to center. Hands on the hips and frame your front foot. Well done. Hug your core in and up. Curl the right toes under. Place the left foot next to the right. Curling the toes under as you inhale, lifting the knees and the hips up towards the sky. Exhale, lengthen the spine for a downward facing dog. On your next inhale, lift the heels up and start rolling your spine forward, shifting your weight forward towards your hands, coming into a plank. Hands are directly under the shoulders and you can always drop the knees down for a half plank. Wonderful. Keep working with your breath. You're doing great. Slowly start bending the elbows, let your elbows graze your clothes and the lower all the way down, pressing the tops of the feet and the pubic bone into the floor, hands directly under the shoulders, inhale, peel your chest up, look forward, here we are again in Cobra, and exhale, lower down. Inhale, place your hands next to your ribs and then lift your torso, hips and knees off the floor for upward facing dog. Keep looking forward, try not to crank your neck here. Roll your shoulders away from the ears, micro bend the elbows and keep pressing down through your hands. One more breath. Excellent. Bend the knees, place them on the floor, shift your weight back, sit back on your heels and widen your knees as much as you want. Drape your upper body forward and walk your hands towards the front of your mat, placing the forehead on the ground for a child's pose. Take a few deep cleansing breaths and allow your body to completely soften. Child's pose, the pose that we're in right now, will be the last pose of our class. You're welcome to stay here. Continue deep breathing. Or if it's uncomfortable for whatever reason, then go ahead and lie down on your back. Remember, this is your practice. You can always personalize and make it your own. In child's pose, if your hand palms are facing down, go ahead, turn your hand palms facing up to give your wrists a break. Deepen your breath 
and place your palms back on the floor and then walk yourself back up bring your knees together sit up tall we'll close our practice come into a cross-legged position lengthen the spine and slightly dip your chin as you inhale reach your arms up towards the sky and draw all that healthy clean air and positive energy into your whole being join your hands together and place them in front of your heart in prayer position remember your intention and feel gratitude for doing your yoga practice today building up your strength and your health thank you so much for practicing with me the light in me bows to the light in you